Listen, if you're here for shortcuts, go away. Many people make negative associations with the word hacker. Like money, hacking is not good or bad intrinsically. It is your actions that make it good or bad. I like to think of hackers as good human beings, not only in the field of cybersecurity, but in life as well. In my view, there are four defining traits for a hacker. Curiosity, open-mindedness, non-conformity, love for and enjoyment of the process. And none of these have anything to do with shortcuts. When you are curious, you are willing to step onto the path of discovery and accept the possibility of going nowhere. The novelty is what thrills and excites you. I often look for hours into JS files to discover security flaws and in the majority of cases I find nothing, but I do learn a hell lot along the way. Sometimes though, I do find bugs and I get rewards. And the biggest satisfaction of all is not financial, but from within. If you're not curious by nature, can you hack curiosity? Most definitely you can. Which brings me to number two, open-mindedness. Assumption is the antithesis of learning and the killer of growth. Some very famous person once said that you cannot learn that which you already know. If I know that eating fat is bad for my health, I will completely avoid having it on my plate. But if I'm willing to challenge my assumption and the quote-unquote conventional wisdom, and if I experiment with a ketogenic diet, I can discover otherwise. As a matter of fact, ketogenic nutrition helped me lose fat and maintain my weight since 2013. If I see 1000 vulnerability submissions on a bug bounty program, and I assume that every security issue possible under the sun has been discovered and reported, I will not even consider looking closely. Yet, if I drop my assumption and recognize that code is being pushed on a regular basis, leaving room for new security flaws, I will jump in undoubtedly. Number 3. Nonconformity If you are doing a thing like everyone else, should you expect different results? Einstein would call this pure madness. If you're using nuclei templates and you want to make a quick buck, you'll soon realize you're only getting duplicates. Many wannabe hackers do this and they get very frustrated saying that the industry is overcrowded already. Nuclei templates are not bad in of themselves. If you take time to understand how they're built and how they work and then you build your own templates, you go the extra mile. You are not doing what everyone else is doing. You are not conforming. And this goes hand in hand with number four, loving the process. The curious person is open-minded enough to step into the path of discovery, oftentimes a path that has not been walked before. The love for this process and the exciting nature of discovery with all of its failures, struggle and sometimes carrots, represent the ultimate fuel for the hacker, the true hacker.